Yeah, 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 we pay. Yeah, 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 we pay. I'm a turn. Hello, everybody. What is good and what is going on? It is your boy from Everyday Trippin', and thank you for joining me here today. In this video here, this is going to be a video of all of my Miami and Mexico content jam packed into one video. This is going to be a longer video here on my channel. If you find a certain section of this video that you enjoy or something you'd like to see more of, there will be links on screen and at the end of the video to take you to that part of the video that you would like to see more of. This is just little clips from each video that I've had posted once again, jam packed into a big compilation. So I hope you guys do enjoy. I have some really nice shots here for you guys and let's get started. I landed in Miami about midday, noonish. Great flight from American Airlines, great pilot. Super, super smooth. Waking up and starting your day off in Miami is just such a vibe. If you know, you know. Anyways, for starters, you're gonna be seeing a lot of hotels, a lot of food, and a lot of fun stuff in this video. I hope you are prepared. For starters, we're gonna be at the Intercontinental for our first hotel. Super great. You're also gonna be seeing a lot of monster stuff in this video. Once again, shout out to Monster for bringing me out. Miami, Art Basel weekend, super, super cool. Thanks again, I appreciate it. Now, like I said, I will just be showing little bits and pieces of other videos on my channel. So if you would like to see a full in-depth room review of the Intercontinental Miami that is on my channel, link will be on screen. Like I said, Monster did bring me out to a sponsored event. It was a private intimate concert by Coil Array. So after we checked in and everything in the lobby, they had free drinks, they had a nice dinner for all of the special guests, and it was amazing. Take a look. Everyone's favorite person is the bartender. Had to get some shots of the monster bartenders making some drinks because they actually look pretty cool and they taste pretty good. I was pleasantly surprised. After the first night and day of being in Miami, we started off our second day in Little Havana. I was gonna do a video at Little Havana, but I did lose almost all of my footage so I only have a couple clips here, but I'll leave a link on screen to one of my partnering channels, Order Up Fun, their Little Havana video. So go take a look at that if you're interested. After Little Havana, we grouped up with some of the people at the Monster event and we headed down to some of the Art of Basel 
festivities and this was a private event by monster the special intimate concert with coil Ray. i had a blast they had free drinks so i kept making runs to the bar and it was just a night to remember full video of the private concert is on my channel i will have a link on screen if you are interested it is a great performance i definitely recommend you go take a look i've seen coiler ray live multiple times and i'm gonna be seeing her next week at rolling loud but this time i've seen her was probably the best probably because we had all the free drinks going around we had the hookah and everything we were smoking it was just a really cool vibe and i was front row at the concert as you can see once again link on screen check the video out don't miss out Once again, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Coiler Ray and to Monster for bringing me out for the Art Basel weekend. The event was amazing. You guys did it right. So once again, thank you. That's how we ended off our night. We ended up going back to the Intercontinental. That was our hotel at the time. And then we started off our next day going down to South Beach, Ocean Drive, and seeing, seeing the vibes. So let's head over there. And I'll catch you guys in a second. South Beach, as you know, is extremely popular, huge tourist attraction, and it is always popping all hours of the day. We came in right by the Clevelander, by Ocean Drive. We actually, right before we hopped out of our car, uh, I saw Shinsia. She's a popular artist. She's going to be at Rolling Loud next week. Extremely beautiful. Extremely talented. Can't wait to see her. It was really cool to see her in Miami too, but seeing her on stage next week is going to be dope. Make sure you guys are subscribed for that too. If you'd like to see more footage and content of South Beach, there is a full South Beach video on my channel. I will have a link on screen for you guys if you're interested in that. And that also goes for this video here at very popular eatery bar one link on screen to this full video as well if you didn't know mojitos are a staple in miami so just about everywhere we went we had ourselves a mojito we also had some chicken and waffles to go with it you know i love chicken here on my channel i'd be doing a lot of food videos such as chicken wars comparing very popular chicken places in los angeles if you're interested in that I'll have a playlist on screen to that if you're interested. While we were at bar one, the owner, Black Peter, stopped by. We chopped it up for a little bit. Really cool guy. And a really cool property with a very nice view. Very convenient location too, right by the bridge and next to Star Island. You could pull up on a boat to bar one if you'd like. All right, after that, we went to the Intercontinental, which was a horrible stay. Unfortunately, they didn't have any heaters and made an excuse up. But it's all good because the next night, we walked into the Eve, just down the street, walking distance. And they had some heat up in there, and it was very comfortable. Once again, full hotel review on my channel. Link on screen. After we got situated 
in the Eve hotel room, got all our stuff put away. We headed down to very popular, brand new, renovated Brickle Mall. Saw some exotic cars in the way, had to get a couple shots for all my car lovers. We love Lamborghinis over here. Anyways, let's make our way down to Brickle Mall, Miami. I know not everyone might agree, but I personally really enjoy the layout of Brickle Mall, the indoor outdoor vibe, the lights, the palm trees, and just the overall aesthetic it looks really cool, I think. Something like this would be amazing in LA. Right before we checked in Hotel Eve, Miami, we ate at Bacon Bitch right there. And we drove past that on the way to our cruise ship, which is where we are headed right now. So stay tuned. First things first, we did have to stop at Guy's Burger. We did have Fast the Fun, so we were pretty early in that line. And to get our rooms. We did have a balcony room, as you can see, and the views just beautiful. Absolutely magnificent. Makes me want to cruise more because, I mean, imagine waking up to this every day. Whew, I can only imagine. As you can see, the ship here is what we are sailing on. This is as you can see from Carnival, and this is the Conquest. Next time around, I don't know if that's gonna be the cruise, maybe Virgin or maybe Royal Caribbean. I don't know, something a little different next time to shake things up a little bit. But anyways, our first destination is Key West. And Key West is in Florida. The very southernmost point of the United States happens to be here, if you didn't know. Hopped off the boat and saw some Ferraris, so you know how to get some car shots from our car lovers, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, here we are in Key West, walking the streets, seeing the landmarks, and seeing what's up with these chickens, so enjoy. Huh? Some tips for Key West. Make sure you get some key lime pie. Make sure you rent a vehicle. And last but not least, don't run into a chicken. <laughs> All right, after Key West, we did hop back on the boat, obviously, because we still have to get ourselves to Cozumel. So in between Key West and Cozumel, of course, we had to grub up. We ate some of this delicious food that they have on the Carnival Conquest. The food was the highlight of the cruise. This food was kicking. Full videos of 
the Carnival Conquest, Key West, and Cosmo Cruise are on my channel. Links on screen. <laughs>
we just left Playa Mia and we are back at the port. The views at Playa Mia were absolutely beautiful, but that goes for all the views in Cozumel. Just take a look. Mm -mm -mm. What a sight to see. This is going to be wrapping it up for my Miami Cosmo video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please leave a like on the video. And I would hate to be you if you're not subscribing because you are missing out on so much content coming to this channel. I got Rolling Loud coming up next week with loads of other content. Vegas. All the good stuff. All the bangers are coming out. So make sure you're subscribed. Don't miss out on any of this content. Trust me. You're gonna regret it. That's gonna be it from me in today's video. Here's a little bonus sunset clip for all you guys that stayed to the end. I hope you guys have a great day or evening, wherever you are. And you can catch me this Saturday in next week's video. Peace.